Welcome everyone to Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. The game has just been released on February the 14th for both Xbox and PlayStation, with the PC release coming to Steam next Friday, February the 21st. Now coming up here in the coming weeks and months on the channel, we're going to have a lot of gameplay, we'll be doing career mode series, and of course, we'll be doing setups for uh, several of the tracks. But before we get into all of that, I thought it was fitting that we start out our first video by going through the menu options and giving you a sense of what type of racing there is, what kind of options that you're going to have available to you. At this point, I will mention that if you're familiar with the recent NASCAR Heat games uh, over the past few years, then you'll feel right at home as we go through these menu options. They'll look very familiar, as well as whenever you get into the different gameplay screens and elements. So we start off our discussion in the career mode. A traditional start in career mode would begin in the lowest of the three series, which would be the midgets. So you can do the standard start or you can come in and do a custom start, which would allow you to begin in either the midgets, the 305s, or the 410s. You have that option to start in whichever series you would prefer. Now, if we come back out and go under career options, a lot of these are going to look very familiar. You have car identifiers, and then, of course, all of your career mode settings from AI difficulty, damage, race length, and then flags. Moving over to the driving tab, this is where you set your driving aids for the player. You have several presets available here, or you can go with a custom option. Scrolling down to the bottom, we have AI settings for skill range, stability, starting spread, and so on. So you've got a lot of options to determine how you want to get started with career mode. Now let's back our way out to the menu and talk about the single race options. As we get started in the quick race menu, the first decision we make is which series do we want to run? Do we want to run the 410s, which would be the strongest series in the game, drop down to the 305s, or do we want to use the midgets? For our purposes today, we'll go into the 410s, then you'll select your car. Now, in today's video, we'll not be going through each division and showing off each car, but there are a lot of real-world drivers here that race in uh, Tony Stewart's All-Star Series. So I'll go ahead and select my car, which I have uh, the very first car I painted in the paint shop as I was getting familiar with it. And I must say, the paint shop looks really nice. Uh, the colors are crisp. The cars are crisp. Looks very good. Now we move on to the track selection, and there are a lot of tracks here. Different lengths and different amounts of banking. So we start off with Arrowwood, four tenths of a mile, and it is high banking. Now you see the 40 lap main event, that is on 100% race distance. So shorter races here, if you're coming from the NASCAR side of things, much shorter races. Uh, but here in the dirt class, you don't have to worry about things like tire wear. Uh, so some of the options that you would be used to setting up in a series such as NASCAR Heat, you won't see here because they're simply not needed. Then we move down to Bridge Fork, which is a half mile with low banking. Cannon Valley, three quarters of a mile. So the longest track we've seen so far and also has high banking. Circle Lake, five eighths of a mile with mid banking. So you can see we have got a lot of different types of tracks. You can see some of them have a dog leg. This one is actually uh, in the shape of a triangle altogether. And then we have some very low banking, almost to the point of being flat. And then as we move down through, I'll quickly show you guys the rest of the tracks that we have. Down to, here's a quarter mile. And you can see it's even letting us know that experts only, this is a very tough track for the 410s, simply because of uh, the reduced amount of banking and the short distance of the track. So we've got everything from three quarters of a mile that we've seen so far down to a quarter mile. Now we see a one mile track with low amounts of banking. So whatever type of track you're really interested in driving on, you're probably gonna be able to find it in this game. Once again, another quarter mile track and it's letting us know that the 410s will probably have some trouble there, which of course for me means that, yeah, I've definitely gotta try that out. So everything from a quarter mile to a full mile and pretty much everything in between. Okay, then we get down to a fifth of a mile with very little banking. So that ought to be tons of fun, particularly with the midgets. 
As we scroll through the final couple, you'll see that we end up with Woodley, which is another quarter mile tracks. So you, you got different types of tracks, different amounts of banking, all of which are suited well to one or more of the racing series. So now that that takes care of the quick race, let's move back to the main menu. The next option is the championship mode. So as we enter the championship mode, we have an option to start up to four seasons. So you've got several options available there. As we start a new season, we need to select whether we want to play with the midgets, 305 or the 410. I'll simply select the 410. And then we've got our choice of options. We've got the regulation, which has all 35 tracks available. Then we've got half, which has exactly half the tracks and so on as we move our way down. Or you can simply do all of the tracks or only the short tracks. So plenty of options available there. If you would rather, instead of using the career mode, go into something like the championship mode. Next up, we'll hop into the options menu. And as we get in here, a lot of this we've already seen and covered in the career mode earlier in the video. So we'll move through most of this pretty quickly. We'll start out with the gameplay tab, which gives you your difficulty preset, car identifiers, and various quick race settings. Moving over to the driving tab, we'll deal with driving aids and AI settings. Next, we have player one and player two controls. Remember, you do have the option for split screen in this game. The reason why player one controls looks this way is because I'm using a Logitech G920 wheel and pedal set. But as we move over to the player two controls, you can see we have the option to use a controller or the wheel and pedal set. Next up is the display tab. And here, because I'm on the Xbox, there's really not a whole lot other than some fine tuning for the screen. So we'll move on to the audio tab. Here I've got, for recording purposes, all of the music volume turned completely off. Then you've got other options such as the effects volume, the announcer volume, and then other in-game effects such as the crowd level or the wall reverb. And then finally, something that I recommend uh, everybody take a look at when you're first getting into the game, and that is the race format. If you're like me and you're coming from the NASCAR side of things, then you're used to a very simple format. You practice, you qualify, and then you race. So it's gonna be a little different here on the dirt side of things. You'll start off with a practice session, then you'll move into qualifying, which will set your starting places for the heats. Then you go into the qualifying dash if you qualify for that, and then finally, all of those things will determine which main you are a part of. And then obviously you want to be a part ultimately of the A main and have a chance to get that victory. So there's a lot of good information here. Now let's move back to the main menu. The final two options that I want to take a look at in today's video are the My Cars and My Driver options. We'll go ahead and get started with the My Driver, which will allow you to customize your helmet as well as the fire suit. What we're currently looking at is the one that I did earlier, just to get a feel for everything. So we'll go ahead and take everything back to the defaults. We're gonna have three options for a lot of these things. So we got three presets. We'll go ahead and choose preset number two, and then we'll move on to the coloring of the helmet. So you got three helmet styles. All right, we'll go ahead and choose number one. And then you've got room for a helmet decal, which shows up on either side of the bottom of the helmet. Moving on finally to the outfit coloring, this is your fire suit options. Once again, we've got three potential styles. I'm gonna go ahead and change the primary color here just so we can see the different options that are available. And of course, if you need more color options than that, you can come down to the bottom option and you get additional colors there as well. And then finally, you've got four different locations for your sponsors. So this gives you the ability to pick out which sponsors that you want to put in different locations around the fire suit, or you can have no sponsors at all. All right, so lots of options that are available in uh, customizing your driver. Now let's move over and see what it's like to customize your car. The first thing we need to do is select the series that we would like to paint. And of course we have the 410, the 305, and the midget. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the 410 since that's the one that is currently loaded. Okay, we move over to the style. We have our choices of 
different paint schemes that you see here. And then, of course, different stripes as well as base paints. Your choice of number. So you have not only the standard number set, but on some of these, you'll see that we have such as the three has a three Z on there. So you got some different options other than just your standard set of numbers. Then you come down to uh, the actual car number and you have not only the number itself, but an outline as well as an accent. And then finally moving over to the decals, you have the ability to put a sponsor on uh, both the wings as well as on the side of the chassis. And as I mentioned earlier, you have the option to do this with all three of the series. And that's what we took a look at a little bit earlier under my cars for the quick race settings. Now let's head back to the main menu. Thank you very much for joining me for today's video. I am very excited about the possibilities for this game here on the channel. If you have any questions about anything that we talked about in today's video, please drop them in the comment section below and I'll answer them as best I can. So again, thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing.